Hey guys, what's up? Chris here for BeerGeekNation.com. Today, we're looking at a new beer from Alpine Beer Company. This is their Hot Boxed IPA, 7% alcohol by volume. It's a classic West Coast style IPA. I picked this one up at CraftCity.com. You can have it shipped directly to you if you go there. Um, as you guys may or may not know, Alpine Beer, most of their beer that's bottled or distributed is now uh, brewed at Green Flash. And I'm going to be completely honest here and say that beer has been way, 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 way subpar below the standards that I know Alpine brews. Um, I've had the fortunate chance to have a lot of Alpine beers really fresh and they're absolutely fantastic. I've had the Green Flash versions fresh and they're not very good at all. I'm thinking this is probably a Green Flash beer. They're pretty shady about it. They don't say it on the bottle. It is an Alpine label, uh, Alpine, you know, in uh, like indented beer bottle, but it is a Green Flash beer bottle, 22 ounce bottle. So who knows? It doesn't say. No real bottle dating on it that I can see whatsoever. So another notch in the belt of not going in the right direction. So I don't know. I don't see any. But with that said, let me get into a glass so you guys know it smells taste. Give the final verdict on the Alpine Hot Boxed IPA. All right, guys, the aroma. A little bit of orange, a little bit of grapefruit, a little bit of pine, very generic West Coast, a little bit of maltiness, some breadiness. Not super hoppy, though. All right, guys, the taste. That's unfortunate. Wow. It's very generic. Very, very generic, like 1998 West Coast IPA. Um, generic citrus, generic pop of bitterness right at the front of the tongue. Citrus, grapefruit, pine needle, classic West Coast. Dry in the middle, a little bit of a maltiness there. Um, it doesn't taste super fresh. The maltiness is kind of turning into that raisiny flavor a little bit, but there is no bottle date, so how am I supposed to know that? Um, grapefruit again in the middle of the mouth, kind of a generic dry citrus fruit in there. Dry finish, I mean, very classic West Coast IPA, more grapefruit, pine needle, it's fine. You've had this beer a billion times. There's no reason to go out and get it. It's just a generic kind of old school tasting West Coast IPA. But again, I don't know the freshness date because there's no date on the bottle. So who knows? I right, guess so the final verdict on the Alpine Beer Company Hot Boxed IPA. You can pick it up at craftcity.com. Uh, guys, gonna give this one a C minus. This is just, I don't know 100% for sure who brewed this one, whether it was Alpine or Green Flash. I'm leaning towards Green Flash based on the bottle. Um, based on the availability of this beer, but it's just not real great. Um, Alpine Beer Company brews some amazing IPAs, some of the best in the world. I mean, they just blow your mind when you have them. This is doing the complete opposite. It is just generic, super just safe, West Coast IPA you've had a billion, billion times, something that probably wouldn't have, would have been brewed maybe 10 years ago, something like that. Um, Generic citrus, a little bit of maltiness, a little bit more maltiness than there should be, but that might be based on the age again because there's no bottling date on it. But I digress. So with that said, it's a C minus. It's just unremarkable, uneventful, not what Alpine, not the Alpine I know and love. So with that said, again, C minus. Remember, folks, life's too short. Drink amazing beers. Cheers.